Gwyneth Paltrow has worked out with trainer Tracy Anderson and her team for six years, six days a week, and is always raving about them. And she credits Tracy and her team for getting her bum into tip-top shape. Join Fit Sugar as we go one-on-one -on -one with celebrity trainers as they show us how to get the bod of their famous clients. Gwyneth has said you've taken her long square butt and completely redesigned it. How did you do that? It takes a while and you know Gwyneth is such a great example for so many women at home because you know she is a celebrity, she is someone that a lot of women admire, mm -hmm. but she's not someone that women at home should be like, oh she was just given that because she wasn't. She's incredibly hardworking. She's just amazing, an amazing student. And like she said, six days a week for six <laughs> years. So I understand Stacy McDermott actually trains Gwyneth and actually helped her get ready for the Oscars. She did, she was with her all, all week. And, okay. and But we're all like family at this point. Stacy's been with me as long as Gwyneth's been with me. And so it's fun, it's fun. Perfect, well yes. let's get Stacy out here. <laughs> As you can see, why well, Gwyneth would rather have Stacy train her than me. And Stacy's been a teacher of the method for over five years, so you are in really good Excellent. hands. We're gonna get right into Gwyneth's three moves. I am obviously pregnant, so I will be doing the modifications, but Stacy will be doing all of the advanced moves that Gwyneth does. So you can follow me or her for more advanced. <laughs> We're gonna start on all fours, you're gonna lift your opposite arm, and then you're gonna bring this leg down, drop to the elbow, and you're gonna extend to high back, taking the leg turned out. So this is a move that Gwyneth likes to do. It's really good at keeping your abs engaged, pulling mm -hmm. that, that, that leg forward, and then bringing it down. And it really gets into those problem areas. Yes. Our bum. Uh -huh. I can see all your glutes working <laughs> beautifully. Yes. So I'm going to show you your modification. Okay. You're going to start sitting on your side. Arm comes down. You're going to flip over to all fours, bring it down, and then extend back, Perfect. and then bring it down. So just really piecing it together. Mm -hmm. So you're going to start here. Mm -hmm. Now bring the arm first, all fours, down, and then kick, down, and then back to the hip. Perfect. What you're gonna do is start with a little glute stretch with that leg out, and you're gonna press up to a downward dog, you're gonna bring it down, and then you're gonna go to a plank. And you really wanna make sure that your hips are down when you're going to the plank. So you're gonna stretch, bring it down, and plank. Bring it down. So this is engaging everything. Your arms are very much involved. Your total body is working to keeping that position. Correct. So this is the move that Gwyneth does, right? Yes. She loves to do this yes. move? Yes, yeah. she definitely does. So for those of you who want a modification, pregnant or not, what, for the pregnancy what's a good modification, one? what you're gonna do is you're just gonna do a nice hamstring, hamstring stretch into downward dog. You're gonna bring those knees back to the mat, and then you're gonna kick to that open diagonal, but this time you can actually rotate out in your hip, because you really wanna make sure your hips stay open, especially during pregnancy. And this is also really good just if you want to need a modification before you start doing it, something that's a little more, more difficult advanced, to do, yeah. more advanced, exactly. Yeah. For our final move, we're actually going to lay down on our side okay. and we're going to be on our elbow as well. So you're going to lift it up, bring it down, and extend up. And I'm lifting my opposite hip up as well. This is really good for just targeting the outer thighs, but also still getting into the lower glute area where the hamstring and the glute meet. So for the modification, Great. we're gonna lay down on our side. Still gonna get a really good outer thigh lift, I promise. <laughs> so you're gonna lift it up and bring it down. Perfect, good. Do you feel it? I do, I feel it. And I good. think for this move, it's really important to keep your knee and your foot parallel, so you're not overextending. This helps keep the hips open and Exactly. Loose. Exactly. And you're still getting a great burn. <laughs> I think Gwenda said it best when she said, you kick my butt. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thank you. We'll see you next time we get the bod on Fit Sugar TV.